you can get the cards you need for today's Budget Magic deck and support the show from this episode's sponsor, Card Kingdom. Just follow the link in the description box down below. Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another edition of Budget Magic. So this week, we continue our exploration of Dominaria Standard with a deck that I'm calling Flaming Wizard Burn. And the sweet thing about this deck, apart from it being pretty powerful, is it is one of the all-time cheapest decks we've ever played on Budget Magic. 28 bucks in the paper world, 34 takes on Magic Online. So super, super, super cheap in the paper world, and it's actually a fairly competitive deck. It's basically a bird deck for standard, looking to harness the power of some wizards and also the Flame of Keld, which is becoming one of my favorite cards from the set for decks like this. So a quick reminder before we break down Flaming Wizard Burn for standard. If you enjoy this deck and you enjoy budget magic in general, it would be amazing of you if you take a second, click that subscribe button down at the bottom of your screen. Screen. It's a great way to support the channel and the site for free. So let's talk Flaming Wizard Burn, starting with the namesake. Well, one of the namesake cards, the Flame of Keld. So the Flame of Keld is extremely powerful. It looks a little bit weird, but it kind of does everything that you want a super aggressive red base deck to do. So two mana enchantment, when it enters the battlefield, we got to discard our hand. That seems like a drawback, and sometimes it is, but most of the time, our deck is going to curse out, empty our hand very, very quickly, and when we cast Flame of the Cow, we often don't have many cards in hand, maybe we have a useless land in hand, so it's not as much of a downside as you might think. Then on our next turn, we get to draw two cards, which means with the card that we get for our turn, we're going from zero cards up to three cards, and that is super powerful in a deck that is looking to, like I said, dump your hand as quick as possible. Drawing three cards or two extra cards is often the difference between winning and losing the game. And then and the ultimate, the last lower counter, Flame of the Keld makes it so whenever a red source we control would deal damage to anything, it does that much damage plus two, which means all of our random creatures are hitting for twice as much damage. It's almost like a furnace of wrath with our creatures. Also, our burn spells all of a sudden get supercharged. A lightning strike is dealing five damage instead of three damage. So with the extra cards that we draw, if we time it right, then we just kill our opponent from a very high life total if need be with the extra damage from Flame of the Keld. So step Step one to abusing Flame of the Keld is making sure we can get empty handed. If we're casting this and discarding three, four, five cards, it's much, much worse. So we have all one drops as far as creatures. We have Bomat Courier, the one card that's like kinda not synergistic with the Flame of Keld because it's not a red creature, although it does have some other sweet synergies. If we can line it up right, we can get a bunch of cards under Bomat Courier, then we get down our Flame of the Keld, discard our hand, then we can sacrifice the Bomat Courier while we're empty handed, and then we're drawing all the Bomat Courier cards, plus plus the extra Flame of the Keld cards, and all of a sudden, our red one-drop deck has like seven new cards in hand, and it's just really insane. And then Fanatical Firebrand, just another hasty threat. It is red, works really well with Flame of the Keld when we ultimate it, because we can sacrifice it. It's a red source. Instead of one damage, it turns into like a lightning bolt. So we chip in for random damage, and then eventually just sacrifice Fanatical Firebrand to lightning bolt our opponent's face with Flame of the Keld. The rest of our one-drops are wizards, and we'll talk about why that's important in a minute, but they're are actually just powerful cards as well. Get to Lava Runner is kind of like a goblin guide that doesn't become a goblin guide for a couple of turns. It's a goblin guide in the late game once we get some spells into our graveyard, but it's mostly just another aggressive one drop. And then Soul Scar Mage is really great in this deck because we have a ton of burn spells and we can use the negative one, negative one counters with Soul Scar Mage to get rid of bigger creatures that one burn spell wouldn't be able to take out, but combining that with like combat damage or multiple burn spells over the course of multiple turns, so Scar Mage can take down Lyra Dawnbringer or something like that that's really problematic for our deck. So creature-wise, all one drops, cast our creatures as quickly as possible, get them on the battlefield, so when our Flame of the Keld comes down, we're going to be empty-handed. The other reason for the Wizards is we have Wizard Lightning in our deck, and Wizard Lightning is one of the most powerful burn spells in Standard in a long time if you have a Wizard. So that's why we're playing Soul Scar Mage, that's why we're playing Lava Runner. Another reason, at least, we want them because they're good one-drops, but we also want them to make Wizard's Lightning into a literal Lightning Bolt. So once we get in this early creature damage, 
We play the Flame of the Keld. Once we draw those new cards, ideally we'll time our Wizard Lightnings, our Lightning Strikes, our Shocks to go at our opponent's face on the turn that Flame of the Keld kind of ultimates when we get the third lore counter. So Wizard Lightning and Lightning Strike are one mana, two mana, deal five damage to the opponent. Shock is one mana, deal four damage to the opponent. Of course, we can use them in the early game to just clear creatures out of the way or throw them in our opponent's face naturally to close out the game. But the real power comes from the Flame of the Keld ultimate, just making them into like lava axes that only cost a single mana. It's just really, really powerful way to get in those last points of damage and close out the game. Finally, we have a little bit of like a combo-ish aspect to our deck, Cartouche of Zeal and Trial of Zeal. So Cartouche, we played this in our two-tick red deck a long time ago. Makes it so our creature's a little bigger, gives it haste, makes it so something can't block, so it's a good way to force through damage with our creatures. But the cool thing in this deck is Trial of Zeal, which deals three damage to a creature player when it enters the battlefield. However, we cast a Cartouche, we get to bounce it back to our hand. So the trick here is we can cast Trial of Zeal in the early game, kill a creature, go to our opponent's face, and then as the game goes along and we're getting our the Flame of the Keld to the point of that last lore counter, we can Cartouche Trial of Zeal back to our hand, even after discarding our hand to the Flame of the Keld, and then replay it on the turn when it's going to deal five damage because of the plus two damage from Flame of the Keld. So a really cool long game plan helps us play around a little bit the discarding to hand of the Flame of the Keld, and then giving us a way to close out the game with direct damage. As far as the mana, really simple. 20 mountains, about as straightforward as you can be. In the sideboard, we have Fight with Fire in a Braid. So these are just additional removal spells with specific purposes. Fight with Fire deals with Lyra Dawnbringer. Five damage to a creature. It's just enough to get rid of Lyra. If we didn't have Fight with Fire, we would lose to Lyra. A Braid lets us deal with artifacts. So God Pharaoh's Gift, Aether Sphere Harvester's Life Gain, things like that, along with killing creatures. Carries Ev's Expertise comes in against big creature decks. If you're playing Mono Green Stompy or Scarab God decks, we can steal our opponent's biggest creature, get in that one huge attack, even play like a Flame of the Keld for free with the second ability, and then Vance's Blasting Cannons just to go long against control decks giving us an extra card each turn. If we flip it around, we have a lightning bolt on a stick to just keep hitting our opponent and hitting our opponent and hitting our opponent. And that is Flaming Wizard Burn for Standard. And that's our budget magic deck for this week. So this deck, I think it's actually pretty sweet. If you like aggressive decks and you like throwing bird spells at your opponent's face, you're going to like this one. And you just can't beat the price. I want to have a super cheap, ultra, ultra, ultra budget deck. So if you're looking for something to play at upcoming standard events at your local store or something, and even our typical like $100 budget is too much for you, this should be the deck for anyone. Like, if you just want to be as cheap as possible and still have a reasonably good chance of competing, I think this is the way to go, because 28 bucks is just as cheap as it gets as far as paper decks are concerned. So if you need something new for Dominaria Standard, but don't have hardly any money at all to spend, keep this one in mind, because it is it's even more than ultra budget. It's just as cheap as it gets for a budget magic deck. So anyway, let's get to the gameplay video video so you can see how it works. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the gameplay video, and uh, yeah, I'll be back in a bit with a wrap-up. Alright, bunch of magic time. Playing some Flaming Burn? Flame of the Cald Burn? No Flame of the Calds, but we have all the one drops, so we can empty our hand super quick. So hopefully we draw into... Hopefully we draw into a Flame of the Cald, because this hand would be great with Flame of the Cald. Just empty our hand, hit our opponent, refuel, kill our opponent. Well, Mountain and Bonded Courier. We do have Bonded Courier, Vomat Courier, to refuel if we need to. We can get empty handed really quick. Oasis for our opponent. We'll play a Mountain, play Soul Scar Mage. Jeez, we're just going to be empty handed next turn. Play Soul Scar Mage, go attacking. Pwn it down to 18. Oh boy. <laughs> Uh, the world's most painful mana. Not walk. Uh, not like in Walking Bliss, our bonded courier. We'll play a mountain. Play Cartouche on Soulscar Mage. Prowess, prowess. Make it so Ballista can't block. Go to combat. Attack. All right, let's shock our opponent. I think we're gonna cash in our lightning strike to draw two. I think it's fine. I think two random cards are better than one lightning strike. Hopefully. Yeah, well, trial of zeal's good. Down to nine. Opponent, Steel Eve Champion, and passes. Well, play Trial of Zeal. Still not drawing Flame of the Keld. Hmm, I guess we just go face. I think we just win next turn. Like, we're gonna lose a Soul Scar Maid, but then this Trial of Zeal should just be lethal. Opponent blocks. 
drops to two. Yeah, we'll just pass the turn. Our opponent needs some sort of life gain, and they don't have very good mana for it. Scavenger Grounds, sure. Man, their mana base has been brutal. Land of War Elves. Ether Sphere. Okay. They do have life gain, but it's going to be too slow. Opponent passes. So, Trial of Zeal. And that does it. Sweet. Uh, okay. Mono Green Stompy. Feels like it could be a fun Carry Zev's Expertise matchup. They have big random creatures. Hmm. Yeah, let's bring in Carry Zev's Expertise. Go down a couple trials. Go down... Maybe we just go down all the trials? All right, let's uh, let's try it like that. We could also fight with fire to kill bigger things, but then we're taking out spells that actually deal damage. Yeah, let's try it like that. Hmm. All right, let's keep it. Four is for our opponent. We'll play a mountain. Play fanatical firebrand. Get in for one. Four is for our opponent and passes. We'll play a mountain. Play lava runner. Man, this would be another great flame of the Keld hand. Flame of the Keld carries Ev's expertise. Those are the two cards we want the most. Pass the turn. Four is for our opponent. Steel leaf champion. All right, opponent passes. Another lava runner. I'll play a mountain. Play lava runner. Wizard's Lightning, Steel Leaf Champion. Firebrand, Steel Leaf Champion. Shock our opponent. Get in for four. Man, come on, Flame of the Keld. You can do it, deck. Opponent down to 12. Thrashing Brontodon for our opponent. Come on, Flame of the Keld. Oh, there's Flame of the Keld. We'll play a Mountain. Let's go attacking. Opponent block. Yup. Lightning Strike, Brontodon. Play Flame of the Keld. Hopefully they don't have another Brontodon. Pass the turn. Oh, come on. We need this draw three. Well, draw two extra. Opponent's down to 10. We really need this refueling of our hand. Death Gorge. Death Gorge is annoying. That does gain our opponent life. Eats a Lava Mancer. Runner. Yup. Opponent passes. Carries of expertise. Draw two. Wizard's Lightning. Hmm. Play a mountain. Oh, what do we do? Uh, let's just pass and see if we can get the kill next turn. With Carries of expertise, Wizard's Lightning for five. Lava Runner for four. Plus stealing something. Because our opponent's going to want to attack to get this Death Gorge life gain. I assume. We could also just draw another burn spell. Yeah, opponent gets in. Oh, interesting. Going for the max damage plan. All right. Hits us for four. Opponent passes. Well, max flame of the cow. Play Bowmat Courier. Carry Zab's expertise. Go attacking. Is this going to do it? Attack with everything. Eat a shock. Get a bonded courier card. Hit our opponent. Down to three. Wizard's lightning. Down to dead. Whoo! Flame of the Keld! Flame of the Keld, we saw the power of it! That's exactly what we envisioned with Flame of the Keld. That was it! That was it! Oh man, this deck is sweet and it's like 30 bucks. <laughs> Ooh boy! Oh boy! I like it, I like it, I like it. Alright, Budget Magic time. Playing some Flame of the Keld Wizard Burn. And uh, alright, we'll try this. This hand will be great if we draw a Flame of the Keld. So Mountain and Fanatical Firebrand start beating down we have a decent amount of burn we can even trial pick it up again potentially irrigated farmland well play the mountain get in with firebrand pass the turd gonna be about finding a flame of the keld i think probably blue white control historic flash blue white something <laughs> we figured that much out farmland for our opponent um yeah let's lightning strike the face opponent down to 15 Play a mountain. Play Trial of Zeal. Opponent down to 12. Get in with Firebrand. Opponent down to 11. Oh, we're close. We're close. We're close. Ah, oh, Flame of the Cow would be so good at finishing off this game. A Gideon would potentially be annoying. Gideon Emblem is annoying. Tap land. Opponent passes. Flame of the Cow. Wizard's Lightning. Well, play the mountain. Hmm. Seal away. Are we worried about seal away? Nah, not really. Let's get in with Firebrand. Opponent down to 10. Pass the turn. Opponent untaps. Planes. Oh, we're so close. Opponent passing. Well, Wizard's Lightning. Opponent's face. Down to 7? Or are they going to counter? Wow. I think our opponent did not cast Syncopate properly. And I think now we just win. Yup. And that's the shame scoop.
Oh, and there was Flame of the Cow too. All right, that was that was gonna be awesome. Well, we didn't even Flame of the Cow, and that was pretty good for our deck. Uh, do we want to change anything? The only card we would kind of want is Vance's Blasting Cannons, but I think we might just stick with the be aggressive as possible. Like, it worked that game. Just attack, attack, attack. We only had one creature, and our burn spells were enough, and we didn't even draw Flame of the Cow, so I wasn't even like it was in a insane draw for our deck. It was just a reasonable draw, and we kind of just crushed that blue-white deck. That was pretty sweet. Hmm. All right, we're on the draw. We'll keep one land on the draw. Plus we have Bonded Courier, and we got a lot of lands in the deck. Ugh, not a land. Well, let's bomb at Courier. Get in for one, get a card. Pass the turn. We are gonna need to draw lands eventually. We have a ton of damage in hand though. Planes for our opponent. Come on, land, land. New. No. Well, get in with Bonded Courier, get a card. Here comes the seal away. Ugh, that's not ideal. Well, play Lava Runner, pass the turn. Come on deck, give us these lands. We have 20 in the deck, which is not a ton, but it's not super skimpy for being all cheap cards. Opponent, passing. Land? All right, there's a land. Well, we gotta keep attacking. If our opponent has double seal away, then that's annoying. All right, hit our opponent. Pass the turn. Cycles farmland. Oh, we have so many points of burn in hand. Well, let's fire off a wizard's lightning. Opponent's down to 50. Island. Well, wizard's lightning. Opponent down to 12. Untap. Shock. Well, attack with lava runner. Hit our opponent to 10. Pass the turn. Illumination. All right, well, lightning strike our opponent, down to seven. <laughs> Ooh. What's our opponent got? Hopefully not Bane Slayer. Authority, that's actually not that great against us because we don't have, we don't have that many creatures. We're more of a real burn deck. Having a lot of lightning bolts is pretty nice. Opponent passes. Firebrand, uh, that is a creature. Well, get in with Lava Runner. Hit our opponent, down to five. I don't know if we play this Firebrand or not. It turns on Fumigate more. I think we do. Play Firebrand. Opponent goes back up to six. If our opponent didn't have Fumigate, it would be great. Opponent disallows. Well, shock our opponent, down to three. All right, opponent cycles. All right, this is the turn. We potentially have lethal next turn. Let's see what our opponent does. Now we're hoping they play Bane Slayer because we win if they do. Oh, come on, no bounce, no bounce. All right, come on, land. Come on, land. Land wins us the game. That's all we need. Play Soul Scar Mage. Not a land. Pass the turn. Oh, no. Oh, no. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, are we going to lose now? Oh, what a way to lose. We just could not find the land. Wow, opponent passes. Well, attack our opponent, Wrath. Well, kill Wrath, hit our opponent to two. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my god. Opponent, land, draws with Teferi. We know we're drawing Lava Runner next turn, which we don't even really want to cast because of this authority. Supreme Will goes digging. Well, I mean, we can just go for it. Opponent's passing, untaps two lands. Yup, we'll play card two. Opponent syncopates, but they die? It still triggers prowess. Do we get there? Oh, opponent scoops it up. Wow, that was close. Wow, two lands and we still got there. If we drew a three land, we would have cruised through that match. But with two lands, we still got there. All right, burning our way through. No flame of the cow though. We gotta draw some flame of the cow. All right, budget magic time. Playing some flame of the cow burn. Ah, uh, in standard. If we had one more land, I would love... You know what? We're going to keep this. With one land, this hand is pretty great. One additional land. Because we have a wizard for turn one. So we have wizard's lightning for turn two. As long as we draw land, we can just fire off these burn spells. Get down Flame of the Keld. The risk is that we don't draw land. And if we don't draw a second land for a few turns, then things could go poorly. Also, if this Lava Runner dies, it's pretty sad. We really want to be able to cast this Wizard's Lightning as a Lightning Bolt. Concealed Courtyard. Opponent. Passing. Land. Whew, it's a land. It's a land. Well, let's get in with Lava Runner. That is exactly what we needed. Hit our opponent. Pass the turn. Now we can just start throwing Lightning Bolts at our opponent, or Lightning Strikes at our opponent's face if they don't play anything worth Lightning Striking. Strucking. Lightning. Casting a lightning strike at. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think that's worth it. Kill Anointer Priest. Pass the turn. That life gain is obnoxious. Well, play Bonded Courier. Go attacking. Yeah, I guess we Wizard's Lightning to get some extra damage. Turn our Lava Runner into a 2-2. Two -two. Hidden Stockpile. All right. 
All right, there's a revolt trigger. Ooh, we got to kill our opponent quick because this life gain is going to be a thing. Opponent gets a hidden stockpile token. Oh, my God. Kill the servo. Go attacking. Less than ideal. We got these trials in hand that we can't currently cast. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We're not going to win long against this deck. I know that. We got to kill him quick because that life gain, it will be insurmountable. This might be a bad matchup. <laughs> it feels like the endless life gain, unless we can win super quick. Opponent. Isolated Chapel. Ixalan's Binding. Hey, it's our bomb at courier. Well, hopefully we just draw land. No. Well, get in with Lava Runner. Pass the turn. I don't feel great about where we're at. Would have been nice to get down a trial of zeal. All right, there's Anointer Priest. We really need to draw land this turn. Really? Oh, ah! That Evolving Wilds is actually devastating. It gets our opponent a token and a life, and it sets up their, their scrying. Yeah, I think that just, I think that's o game over now. Target Anointer Priest, get in with Lava Runner. Did not hit land number three. We hit land number two, did not hit land number three. This might be a tough matchup regardless. Not a common matchup, but feels like a tough one. Isolated Chapel. Opponent's gonna get in, they're gonna scry, they're gonna gain life. I just, I don't think we can, I don't know how we can fight through this Anointer Priest along with our opponent scrying and gaining life. Sacks, scries, yep. Gets a token, gains some life. Yep. Opponents back up to eight. Land. Lava Runner. These Trial of Zeals have been... Ugh, our hand is horrible. Trial of Zeals have been pretty painful this game. And a Fatal Push. Not getting better. Get in with Lava Runner. Yeah, we're getting pretty close to just scooping this up. Not hitting our third land to kill this Anointer Priest. Going to be really, really difficult to win from here. Opponent plays a land. Goes attacking. Hits us. Yep, down to 16. Sure. Opponent. Going to sack the Servo. Oh, something else. Yeah, that does it. Well, I guess we'll wait one more turn. If uh, <clears throat> if we can kill Anointer Priest this turn with Trial of Zero. Ze ugh, zeal. Then there's still some very tiny chance that we can put things together and it wasn't meant to be all right we'll scoop it up yeah just did not uh not have the things to kill that anointer priest this feels like a very very hard matchup potentially unwinnable actually it's got to be close to unwinnable if it's not um go down a couple trial of zeals go down a cartouche actually cartouche is probably just the worst maybe we go down all cartouches Bring in Vance's Blasting Cannon. We just don't really have a way to... Ugh. Bring back in the Trial of Zeals. I guess we gotta keep one cartouche. We'll try it like that. We just gotta try to win super aggressively. That's the, the only realistic shot of winning this match. Alright. No creatures. Lots of burn, but... Uh, the life gain. Something to stop life gain would help this matchup. But it just doesn't really exist. Mountain Goo. Opponent. Thinking over their options. Round catacombs. Creatures, please. Uh, deck. Deck. Not like this. Mountain go. Ugh. Concealed courtyard. Opponent passes. I'll play a mountain. Play... Fanatical firebrand. Get in for one. Pass the turn. Opponent. Planes. And there's anointer priest. I'll play a mountain. Trial of zeal. Kill anointer priest. Fanatical firebrand. Go attacking. Pass the turn. Opponent. Uh, if this is anointed procession. Yep. Yeah. Hmm. I think that <laughs> I think that just does it. <laughs> as embarrassing as that sounds, I don't think we could win now. They get back double anointed priest. They go back up to twenty. Yeah, this just feels like it's got to be our worst matchup in the entire format. Opponent cracks evolving wilds. Oh my god, another anointed procession. Okay, well, lightning strike our opponent, shock our opponent, shock our opponent. Is there any out here? Lava Runner. Are we going to put our opponent to one and lose? We are. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, 
All right. Well, we gave it our best shot. It was still a pretty impressive performance for our deck. Uh, we'll pass. Once our opponent gets back in Oiner Priest, we're scooping. We can't beat the life gain, so... Oh, man. Oh, we were so close. A gut shot away. Uh, I don't think we missed any points of damage throughout this game. I guess we lightning struck a Anointer Priest, but that would have stopped all of our creature attacks forever. So I think that was still what we had to do. I think we played it how we had to play it, and we just didn't get there. That's our way of winning, is just being aggressive, and it almost worked. Yeah, there's a Noiner Priest. Yeah, opponent gains so much life, and it might seem like an early scoop, but it's not. Like, if you look at the construction of our deck, we just, there's no way we can beat this. Even if our opponent didn't play a spell for the next, I don't even know, four turns, five turns, there's still... <laughs> There's still no way we can win from this situation, so don't yell at me. We're we're dead. It might take a while for our opponent to actually kill us, but there's no there's no way our deck can ever overcome this. So well, we gave it a good shot. We got our opponent to one, and we were super close. So yeah, yeah, we'll take it. All right, budget magic time. Playing some Flame of the Keld burn, and we never start with a Flame of the Keld. Just never. It's just not a thing. Remember when we built the, the Blood Braid deck for Modern, the Haste Braid, and didn't play a Blood Braid the entire, entire video series? We're starting to get to that point with Flame of the Keld. I think we actually, we won with it once. We just never draw it. This sounds fine, though. Like, hopefully we draw a Flame of the Keld. Worst case, if Bomat Courier lives, it refills our hand and finds us Flame of the Keld. So, we got options. So, Mountain and Bomat Courier get in for one past the turn opponent what do you got opponent what do you got swamp and pass it i'll play a mountain uh, yeah let's go attacking we can't turn on haste with lava runner yet hit our opponent down to 18 play lava runner the nice thing about lava runner is it turns these wizards lightnings into lightning bolts which is actually a pretty big deal when we're trying to get empty handed quickly swamp for our opponent can also kill like a gifted etherborn if our opponent has it vicious offering all right yeah well, come on. Yeah, let's shock our opponent's face. Come on, Flame of the Keld. Eh, another Courier's fine. Play Courier. Play Mountain. Wizard's Lightning. Hit our opponent down to 10. With another Lightning Bolt in hand. Pass the turn. Swamp for our opponent. What do you got? What do you got, opponent? Show us that Dread Shade into our Lightning Bolt. Man, Wizard's Lightning is really good. We don't even have that many Wizards. We have like eight Wizards, and it's been pretty great. Opponent passes. Oh, play another Courier. Go attacking. Exile. Exile. Hit our opponent. Down to six. Pass the turn. And this has just been a pretty impressive performance. Swamp for our opponent right of bells in lock all right well let's wizards lightning our opponent down to three on tap there's flame of the well that works play flame of the cow discard our hand combo it's a combo with our bomb at couriers go attacking we don't actually kill our opponent but we are going to draw a lot of cards and should kill our opponent next turn because we get two from flame of the cow and we're gonna get three from a bomb at courier opponent block opponent block drops to two Yup, pass the turn. So opponent gets some more 1-1. One, one. Swamp. I mean, all right, Tetsamok, sure. Opponent passes. We draw some extra cards. Play a mountain. And let's just go attacking. They could have random life gain. Hit our opponent. They could have, like, a moment of craving would be the most common life gain. So we'll just attack first. Get cards under bomb at courier. Opponent block. Okay. All right. Well, now we just got to do it like this. Shock your face. Vraska's Contempt was the other life gain spell. Whew. Got the timing right. All right. Uh, that was pretty impressive. Just absolutely running over our opponent. Uh, I don't even know if we change anything. We might play it just exactly like this based on what we saw. Yeah, let's just run it back. That just felt insanely good for us. All right. Uh, one drop to hand. <laughs> Literally all one drops. This is fine, especially on the draw. If we can go one drop, draw land, one drop, one drop, into one drop, one drop. <laughs> Cross our fingers for no golden demise, and uh, good game. Well played. Opponent plays a land. Well, bomb at courier, one drop, one. Go attacking. We would really love to draw land. That would make our life much more complete. Opponent down to 19. Untap. Swamp. Come on, land. Come on, land. Come on, land. Ugh, Flame of the Keld. Well, play Bomb at Courier. So much for the one drop, one drop plan. Get in, hit our opponent, hit our opponent. Pass the turn. Playing one one drop a turn, less likely to get the job done. There's a cast down. Yup. Well, we'll draw the land eventually. Probably exiling lands to the Bomb at Courier. Ooh, Cabal Stronghold. Look out on turn seven. Land, come on, land. Cartouche. 
Well, fanatical firebrand. Uh, this hand would have been so good if we drew one more land in our opponent. As it is, it is amazingly slow, and it's letting our opponent just one for one us into oblivion. Yup. And now they're gonna start playing big things, and ugh, it's gonna be bad news, bad news. What do you got, opponent? What do you got? Ooh, opponent's missing their land drop. Okay. That helps us slightly. Land. All right, there's a land. Thank goodness. So, play Fanatical Firebrand. Go attack it. So, now there's actually a chance that we'll be able to empty our hand for this Flame of Hell. And our opponent 15. <laughs> oh, I'm mad. Play Soul's Carvage. It's just about us playing a one drop every turn and our opponent killing a one drop every turn. There's a land. All right. Four man is probably where our opponent's fun begins. I would assume. Ooh, Phyrexian scripture. Okay. Well, that means we're not playing creatures this turn. Well, go attacking. Lightning strike our opponent. Down to 10. There goes our creatures. Losing our graveyard doesn't really do anything. Gonti, Lord of Luxury. I'm gonna steal one of our burn spells, most likely. Yep. Grabs a card. We untap. Play Soul Scar Maid. Kill the Gonti. Pass the turn. All right. Graveyard gone. We're trying to get in a position where we can resolve this Flame of the Keld without discarding mud. If our Soul Scar Mage lives, maybe we should have Cartouche last turn, but then the problem is we risk getting stuck with two Wizards Lightnings in hand for this Flame of the Keld, which is slightly less than ideal. Yep. Graveyard gone. Uh, Bloodfast does not seem great against our deck. Yeah, opponent found a shock. Well, now we might just have to discard to Flame of the Keld. Play the Mountain. Yeah, all right. Flame of the Keld. Pass the turn. We lose a Wizard's Lightning and a Cartouche that wasn't really doing much. The nice thing about Flame of the Keld is we can theoretically just draw into more Flame of the Kelds. <laughs> We're good at punishing this Field of Ruids with the Cabal Stronghold because we have no non-basics. All right, Rites of Bells and Lock. Yep. Well, come on, Flame of the Keld cards. Mountain. Well, play the Mountain. Play another Flame of the Keld. Pass the dirt. Come on, two Lightning Strikes. <laughs> two Lightning Strikes would be so good. That would just be be lethal with Flame of the Keld. Sunset Pyramid. All right, card advantage. Oh, come on. Come on, deck. Come on, deck. Oh, two. Ten damage a burn. Ten damage a burn off these draws. Do we have Lightning Strikes left? We don't really know. Some. Opponent passes well more flame of the Kelds. so we keep churning through our deck we lose a flame of the cow draw two play a mountain play bomat courier attack with bomat courier opponent blocks well flame of the cow number three just keep them going sooner or later this is going to draw us into what we need it's going to happen opponent does get the big old six six demon draw <laughs> discard our hand we get to draw more next turn pass the turn opponent's going to draw a card yep oh boy come on burn spells opponent gets the six six swamp so cabal stronghold breaking even at this point wait one two three yeah breaking even opponent passes all right so draw a land ultimate flame of the cow draw two with flame of the cow play lava runner play a mountain go attacking with bomat courier all right so shock our opponent sack bomat courier play trial of zeal oh this blood fast uh, put our opponent to one <laughs> Oh, we ended up one damage short. And now our opponent can sack the demon. So I think we're going to lose here. Oh, man. One point of damage short is a rough way to go. Wow. Oh, man. Oh, that's a rough one. That is a rough one. Sacks a cleric. Swamp. Oh, we drew a lot of Flame of the Kelds, too. Problem is our opponent can sack the demon to gain six. And it's going to be hard to play around that. Oh, wow. What a game. Opponent gets in. Yep. Oh, wow. Opponent finally makes one extra mana. It's a combo. Tetsamok. Yeah, I don't think we can... I don't think we can get back from this because of this temple of all things. Jeez. Tetsamok blows up our Lava Runner. Yeah, we just draw a mountain and we will scoop it up. One point of damage short. Whoo, boy. Do we want to change anything? Maybe like Blasting Cannon? Let's go down one Cartouche, one Trial, go up to Blasting Cannon. Try it like that. All right, we're on the play. All right, this hand's pretty good. We don't have a way of recovering, but it's a pretty strong hand. We have one drop, one drop, one drop. So Mountain and Bomat Courier. I mean, I guess we have Bomat Courier, but based on what we saw from our opponent's deck, hard to expect that it's going to actually live past the turn. Swamp for our opponent. And Duress can take our Cartouche of Zeal. Duress isn't 
actually, well, I guess it's okay. It can take random burn spells. Yup. Opponent passes. Shock. Well, play Fanatical Firebrand. Play Soulscar Maid. Get in. Hit our opponent. Down to 17. Swamp. Gifted Aetherborn. Well, this is good. Play the land. Play Lava Runner. Go attacking. Opponent. Blocks. So now we shock. Soulscar Mage means negative one, negative one counters. Pass the turn. And now we have a mana up. So worst case, we get to draw three. Best case, we get to untap and draw even more. And hopefully that starts the cycle of finding Flame of the Kelds. Ideally, that's the plan. Opponent's passing. Yup. We draw. Another Lava Runner. I'll play Lava Runner. Go attacking. All right. So cash in, Bowman Courier. Draw three. Hmm. All right. Hit our opponent. That was not the best draw three. Play the land. Swamp for our opponent. Right of Bells and Lock. Yup. Mm. Yeah, untap. There's the Flame of the Keld. That's what we were looking for. Lightning strike our opponent's face. That was exactly the draw we needed. Trigger prowess. Hit our opponent. Turn on our lava runners. Play the mountain. Go attacking. Hit our opponent. Our opponent's other problem is if they just go full out chump block mode, they're not going to have creatures to pay the price of this demon. Opponent takes three. We play Flame of the Keld. Discard, nothing. So we're getting three cards next turn. If we can draw six points of damage, we win. Assuming our opponent doesn't have life gain here. Yup, make some chump blockers. Swamp. Opponent. Passes. We draw some cards. Firebrand. Shock and Flame of the Keld. We'll play Firebrand. Go attacking. Opponent. Uh, we're seeing the downside of Rite of Bells and Lock. Opponent blocks. They must have Veraska's Contempt or something. All right, Contempt's a Lava Runner. So shock our opponent. Down to four. Up to six. Down to two. Flame of the Cal number two. And pass the turn. I feel like we're in pretty good shape. I mean, in theory, we just untap and Firebrand for six. <laughs> so each of these are lethal on their own, thanks to Flame of the Cal going off. Swamp. Sunset Pyramid. Does that gain life? It is not. Yeah, that sounds like desperation. And I think we got there. Pony put up a good fight, but Flame of the Cal. It draws us so many cards. And Wizard's Lightning, too. Not in this game, but this deck is pretty powerful for... <laughs> <laughs> for its price tag it really is and we got the gg's opponent says the saga is broken and the saga is super good i have been very impressed with flame of the geld it's like the card we want to draw almost all the time it's so good Whew. all right all right all right all right flame of the geld keeping it going all right budget magic time playing some flame of the geld burn and you know, we'll keep this. It's fine. No Flame of the Keld. Hopefully we draw into it. I guess we don't need it in our opening hand. We want to draw it after we empty our hand, which we can do pretty quickly, other than this Trial of Zeal. We have like one drop, one drop shock, lightning strike, maybe Trial of Zeal on turn three, and then we're essentially empty handed and ready for the Flame of the Keld. All right, so let's mount in and Bowman Courier. Get in for one and pass the turn. Ton Sealed Courtyard and Toolcraft Exemplar. Yup. I'll play a mountain. Shock toolcraft. Play lava runner. Get in with the bonded courier. And pass the turn. Opponent's down to 18. We would like this oh, knight of malice. Okay. We kind of just want to land, I think. Lightning strike. Well, lightning strike, knight of malice. Go attacking. 4-3. We're getting cards under this bonded courier. We really would like it to live. Swamp for our opponent. History of Benalia. Yep. Oh, come on, land. Come on, land. Opponent passes. Wizard's Lightning. Ah, uh, that kind of works. So Wizard's Lightning the Knight. Go attacking. Yeah, I don't think we can go shields down on Bonded Courier. We need these cards. Another Knight. Opponent. Aether Sphere Harvester. That is a little annoying. Opponent passes. Well, play Runner. Hmm. Now what? Now let's just attack and sack Bonded Courier. We're still going up two cards. I mean, we'd make our opponent block. Yep. So, sack. Hopefully this is worth it. Play a mountain. Play soul scar mage. Pass the turn. So, opponent gets to pump their knights. Opponent getting in. Yeah, we'll take it. Down to 16. Planes. Scrappy scrounger. Opponent passes. We'll play a mountain. Let's trial of zeal. Kill the knight. Opponent cruise. Yep. So, now we go attacking. Opponent blocks. And Wizard's Lightning, the Harvester. Put our opponent to seven. Pass the turn. We're doing this without Flame of the Cal, too. 
No Flame of the Keld yet. Wizard's Lightning's been pretty awesome. Oh boy. Opponent untaps and gets in with Scrappy. Down to 13. What's the follow up? History Benalia. Uh huh. Opponent passes. We draw a mountain. Well, I guess we need to Trial of Zeal. As long as our opponent doesn't have Fatal Push, I think we win. Go face. And they haven't acted like they had Fatal Push. And our opponent scoops it up. Whoo! No Flame of the Keld. No problem. <laughs> oh, this deck is surprisingly effective. So since we saw vehicles, I think we bring in a couple of abrades. Maybe go down like a couple of trials and maybe one cartouche for an abrade. Uh, maybe we go down another cartouche. Maybe we leave one trial. Maybe go two cartouche, three trial, three abrade. Actually, maybe we just go four abrades. Let's go four abrades. Ether Sphere Harvester is pretty obnoxious because of the life gain. So we'd like to keep that from being an actual thing. Uh, all right, we'll keep this on the draw. We would like another land. Opponent has Toolcraft. Well, Mountain, Fanatical Firebrand. Pass the turn. Come on, lands. Lands, lands, lands. Opponent. Yeah, we'll kill it. Opponent passes. Land? Ooh, there's a land. So, play Bonded Courier. Play Fanatical Firebrand. Go attacking. We still want a Flame of the Keld. That's always the card that we want, and we have not been drawing. Also, a Wizard for Wizard's Lightning would be helpful. Planes for our opponent. History Benalia. Yep. Opponent passes. Braid. Well, Shock the Knight. Go attacking. Pass the turn. Opponent gets another knight. Swamp. There's Heart of Kieran. And a uh, walking ballista. Opponent passes. There's a land. So play the land. Hmm. I guess we just pass for now. Opponent pumps the knights. Or knight. Toolcraft. Pumps toolcraft. Cruise the Heart of Kieran. Attacks, attacks. Well, a braid Heart of Kieran. Take four. Down to 16. Isolated Chapel. Last card. Counter on Ballista. Yeah, we gotta do this, unfortunately. Here goes Bonded Courier. Yup. Opponent passes. Well, pass the turn. We have 12 points of burn in hand. But we're probably gonna have to throw some at creatures. Ugh. Even more so now. Hard to cure in. Well, kill Toolcraft. Take two. Man, we're gonna need a Flame of the Keld. That's what we need. Opponent gets in, hits us, down to 14. Play Lava Runner. Go attacking. Opponent takes it. Pass the turn. Land for our opponent. Ugh, Karn. Okay. Ticks up Karn. So, opponent gets Concealed Courtyard. Cruise Heart of Curin. Opponent. Attacks, attacks. Alright, let's take it. Down to eight. Opponent passes. Play the mountain. Go attacking. Opponent cruise hard to Kieran. All right. And blocks. Well, let's lightning strike. Get rid of the hard to Kieran. Ugh, they sell the Karn though, and we're at we're at eight. eight they're at fourteen. It's going to be hard to. Well, give them a planes. Going to be hard to kill them from here. Opponent gets in with the knight. Man, we might have to... What is this? Lyra. Oh, God. That was a good draw. Untap. Yep, that does it. All right. Well, Lyra, worth being aware of. We just did not get a fast enough start there, unfortunately. So let's go down the Trial of Zeals. Go up to Fight with Fires. That's our... Oh, we're taking out a lot of actual burn. Let's go down in a Braid, too. Fight with Fire actually lets us kill a Baneslayer. Just straight up kill Baneslayer. We could also try to steal Baneslayer. The problem is a lot of their other creatures... A lot of their other creatures aren't great for stealing. Yeah, let's try it like that. Alright, we're on the play, which is good. 
Oh, man. Shipping. That's a horrible hand. Oh, dear. All right. Shock to the bottom. This hand is not ideal. We can kill things, but we have no threat. Ugh. It looks like our luck might be running out. But you can still kill things. And this is one of the problems with trying to bring in answer cards. Maybe we just, like, hope to kill our opponent before Baneslayer comes down? I don't know. Well, a Braid Heart of Kirin. There's Bombat Courier. Play him out in. Get in with Bombat Courier. Get a card. I mean, if this Bombat Courier can somehow go off, that's a way we can get into this. Undo our mulligan. Planes for our opponent. There's the History of Benalia. Yep. Opponent passes. We'll play Lava Runner. History Benali is pretty good against us. Wizards Lightning the Knight. Keep attacking. It feels like we're going to need a Flame of Keld. Seems like we say that a lot. So we'll hit our opponent for three. Pass the turn. Opponent gets a Knight. Yup. Planes. Hmm. There's the card. Takes up. Uh, I guess we give our opponent Lyra. A land would be nice. Opponent passes. Oh, there's Flame of the Keld too. Well, attack our opponent. Opponent takes it. Pass the turn. So knights get pumped. Ugh, how do we get through this Karn? History Benali has been super, super annoying. Just two blockers is pretty good against our deck. Opponent gets in. Yep. Hits us for four. Yep. Down to 16. Takes up Karn. Sure, you get a Swamp. Swamp. There's the Lyra. Opponent passes. Well, kill Lyra. Go attacking. Opponent takes it. Alright, pass the turn. Oh, this Karn. Opponent's just drawing two cards a turn. And playing really powerful cards. Swamp. Takes down Karn. Takes Knight of Malice. Okay. I has a heart of Kirin. Good golly. Opponent gets in with the Knight. We take it. Opponent passes. Well, shock the Knight. Oh, we can't really attack. No attacks. Play Bomb at Courier. Pass the turn. Heart of Kirin plus Karn. Hard for our deck to beat if we don't get a really fast start. And we mulliganed and had a just a horrible start. So I feel like we can beat this deck. We showed that in game one. But we're not going to beat this deck this game by the looks. Uh-oh. Walking Ballista X3. Oh, dear. Makes a Construct. Yeah. This is where it just spirals out of control. Cruise Heart of Kirin. Opponent. Goes attacking. We draw a card two. We'll play Flame of the Keld. Discard our hand. Go to combat. I don't think there's any winning from here, though. Nice little synergy with Bomat Courier. Attack our opponent. I mean, we're just dead, though, unfortunately. Opponent blocks. Refill our hand-ish. Yep. All right. Well, $30 deck ran into $30 card dot deck. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy oh boy all right oh can't win them all for 30 bucks so what do we learn this week about flaming wizard burn for dominaria standard and overall we finished three and two in our video matches technically three and three because we rematched against a wrath flash deck and ended up losing a really close hard fought game in the rematch so overall a pretty reasonable record especially when you consider the deck is 28 bucks it is as cheap as it gets like you literally can't build paper magic decks much cheaper than this and have them be even semi-competitive so i was pretty happy especially for the price tag and the deck felt pretty powerful like we're very aggressive we get in lots of early damage but we also have a lot of card draw thanks to bomb at courier and flame of the keld and flame of the keld i feel is kind of the secret to making this deck work because we spew our hands so fast and one of the problems with a ultra ultra super budget version of mono red is if game go long you get into trouble you don't have a hazard to close out the game or even like a glory bringer or something on the top end this resilient threat to close out the game flame of the keld is kind of our super budget version of that because the cards it draw hopefully is enough for us to close out the game and we saw some really powerful flame of the keld things where we were able to not just play a flame of the keld but chain them together we play one draw some cards draw another one play that one draw some more cards it doubles up the burn which is really good i think the clunkiest part of the deck and for me the part that i would look at chain 
changing is the cartouche trial of zeal part that package was fine but we often found trial of zeal being stuck in our hand with not having enough mana to cast it ending up discarding it to flame of the keld so maybe changing that for something cheaper i don't know what the answer is uh, maybe it's an earth shaker kenra i tried to find another wizard there's not really another two drop or one drop wizard that can work in the deck at least that i've been able to find so that's what i look at changing trial of zeal of zeal and maybe cartouche of zeal as well that's kind of the clunky part of the deck so i feel like that could be upgraded somehow probably in a really cheap manner just more aggressive stuff it, we're like one burn spell away i will say i was super impressed with wizards lightning even in our deck where we have eight wizards it was often a lightning bolt and often the best card in our entire deck so i definitely feel like wizards lightning is worth exploring more either in this shell or in more shells it is a reason to play some number of wizards and as this deck showed it's not like you got to be wizard tribal to take advantage of wizards lightning casting it for full value isn't ideal to cast it for three mana you kind of get the open fire which isn't but it's still castable it's not like you can't cast it without a wizard so i was very impressed by it being a lightning bolt a reasonable amount of the time and then even at three mana it was still passable so overall especially considering the 28 dollars price tag i feel like this deck is in a pretty good spot i'm trying to figure out the cartouche trial part of the deck i think that's the one part i'm least impressed with pretty happy with the sideboard pretty happy with everything else about the deck so if you're looking for just a deck that's as cheap as it gets that also has a chance to compete at the fnm level at your game day or whatever store championship whatever tournament's coming up if you don't have a standard deck and you're looking for something that's just ultra ultra cheap but still pretty effective i think this is one of the better starting places for standard for that kind of deck so anyway that's been flaming wizard bird for dominaria standard thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and i will talk to you soon thanks for watching the video if you enjoyed it help us out by clicking that like button down below and to keep up on all the latest and greatest click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos and if you want to check out some of our other sweet videos here and here